Hello, what's up? It's photographer Ronix with another one. In this tutorial, I want to show you how I do color grading for most of my images in Photoshop. So, usually I've been doing tutorials about color grading in Capture One, and most of you don't have it. So, I want to show you how you can go about that and get a very nice and beautiful image at the end of the color grading process. If at all you don't have Capture One and you have Photoshop, so this is going to be a Photoshop color grading tutorial. So just want to get the image from looking uh, like this to looking like this. I just hope you love the skin tones because I de definitely love these skin tones right here. So I'm just going to delete this so that we can learn everything from the very start. So usually after doing skin retouching, what one thing that you'd love to do is creating a stamp with border or a copy of everything I've done on the image. So you have to simply press Shift Option Command E on the keyboard. For those that have Mac and for those that have Windows, press Shift Alternate Control E on the keyboard to create a copy or a visible copy of every adjustment that you did. So this is going to be like more like the same image. So it is more of a screenshot of the adjustments you made on the image. So after doing this, we're just going to go straight into Camera And before you go into Camera Row, simply make this a smart object. So simply right click on the layer and come and convert it into a smart object. The reason for doing this is because we want to be able to change the adjustments after applying them on the image later on. So that is the advantage of creating a smart object out of your layers. Because as soon as you apply the adjustments on the image, it means that it is going to be destructive if at all you haven't created a smart object and as soon as you create it you can notice that we have that icon meaning that this layer is a smart object so i just going to come to filter and you're going to come to our camera roll filter to start color grading so i usually start with the camera roll filter and after head into photoshop to do the final adjustments regarding color grading so i'm just going to come to my color mixer or you can come to the HSO panel if I told you have an older version of Camera Raw. And under this, the very first thing I tend to do, because I want to get rich skin tone, I come first of all to the Luminance option in the Color Mixer option. So with this, Luminance is more of the brightness or darkness of a given color. For example, if I told I want to brighten the green color, I'm just going to take the Luminance slider all the way up. You can see that is going to darken the greens. You can see the uh, it is going to lighten the greens and taking it down it is going to darken the greens just look at that so luminance is the brightness or darkness of a given color i'm just going to come and double click right here to reset so the very first thing when it comes to skin tones i want to handle first of all our oranges because i want the skin to have that kind of rich complexion so i come to the oranges and i am going to darken that and you can see as soon as I move it down, you can see that the oranges are turning a little bit darker. So I'm just going to leave it at around 35 looks okay because the image was a little bit overexposed for my liking. So this is fine. And now you can as well brighten up the greens because they are a little bit darker. Then after that, I'm just going to come straight into my hues. And hues is more of a given shade of a given color. So let me just try explaining that for you. So when you look at, for example, the greens in this case, if at all you're hewing the greens towards the right hand side, you're going to make the greens look like a color below it, which is the aquas. And moving the green slider towards the left hand side is going to make uh, the color like uh, the color on top of the greens, which is the yellow. So let me show you this. So moving it towards the left hand side is going to make the greens more yellow. And moving it towards the right hand side is going to make the greens uh look like the aquas so basically that is what luminance uh what hue is all about so i'm just going to come right here and i'm going to play around with the greens a little bit up to around 34 and make them look a little bit aquas because i want the subject to stand out and i want the background to pop in this case but this makes the greens a little bit over saturated so i'm just going to come to the saturation and saturation is more of the intensity of a given color so how much of a given color that you want in the image so i feel like the greens are a little bit are competing with the subject and they're drawing attention from the subject so i'm just going to come and take down uh the saturation or reduce on the intensity 
of the greens just like that so after that i'm just going to come straight back to the luminous and i'm just going to darken my oranges a little bit more so this looks okay and this is the before so far and the after before after so a skin tone is now rich but this is not all that we have to do on the image so we're just going to open the image back into our photoshop to do the last and final color grading so you can see if i told you feel like you want to change the adjustments later on you can simply double click on the camera filter and it's going to open the previous adjustments that you had applied to the image and you can start from there to make any corrections if at all you need to so after that i'm just going to come and i'm going to create a black and white adjustment layer and it's going to desaturate the image completely and simply come to the blend mode and change it from normal and i'm going to change it to multiply and that is going to make the image look darker so what i tend to do i tend to take the opacity all the way to zero percent and simply start taking it up just like that so you can as well click on this arrow and you can start taking up the opacity uh, depending on the look you're trying to go in for so i found 14 14 looks great it looks okay let's go with 20 and this is the before and after for just that slight adjustment anything i tend to do i prefer the images contrast so i'm just going to come to the contrast and i'm just going to add more contrast to the image and just look at how the skin is now looking nice and beautiful so lastly what i tend to do i come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer and under this i just go straight into the reds right here then i come to the lightness and i'm just going to take the lightness down and that is going to make the skin low creature just like that and remember the skin was a little bit too warm for my liking so up to that it's fine then i come and do the same for the yellows but for yellow, yellows i don't take them all the way down up to around negative two so this looks okay so i add one adjustment layer which is the selective color under this i just darken the blacks just like that and i add a little bit of bluish filter so you can see this is going to either add blue or uh, yellows to the black so i'm just going to add blues to the skin just like that to cool down the skin a little bit more negative three looks good so i'm just going to group everything i've done to the image regarding color grading so i'm just going to press shift and click on this and press ctrl or command g on the keyboard to group everything and just look at the before color grading and this is the after before after just look at how nice and beautiful the image has turned out to be so you can do one last thing that is doing the eye whitening and the most simple way to do this you can come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer and come to the master make sure master is selected and simply desaturate the image up around negative 80 or 84 and just close this and make sure the white layer mask is selected and press ctrl or command i on the keyboard to invert or hide that effect from affecting the image remember in photoshop black is going to hide and white is going to reveal so you're just going to get a brush and the settings right here make sure the hardness is at zero or percent the flat hundred percent and make sure you have black and white right here make sure you click on these two small boxes to have black and white and you can switch in between black and white by using x on the keyboard so make sure the foreground right here is white and you can now zoom in using our white brush we can now paint on the eyes to whiten them so using that brush just come and paint on the white area of the eye and if i told you mess around as you're doing this you can come and simply uh erase by switching the brush back to black for example if i told you painted here you can use x on the keyboard and make sure black is back on top and that is going to erase that from uh, the image so you can now zoom out and let's look at a quick before and after for the color grading process for this image so this is the image uh before color grading after before after so it is more of the color grading and retouching combined so and for the color grading this is the before and after before after so basically this is how i color grade in both camera and photoshop if it's so if at all i don't have captions so this is all for this tutorial and if at all you love this don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet 
more amazing shows and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating